Hello there, my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and once again, uh, welcome to an eye on privacy where I cover articles and topics about data protection and cyber security. And today I'm going to share about an article that I read recently that really brings me down memory lane where I first learned about privacy and data protection. And that's an article about this company called Kodak. How many of you still know this company called Kodak? Now Kodak is probably the biggest company in the world that creates camera films. For those of you who are still really young and do not know what films are, films are these things you put in cameras. I mean, you still have them today, but you know, very few. So Kodak makes films. And typically after taking pictures like 36 or 27 shots in a, in a, in a row of film, you will bring this film to a, uh, a development company or rather a company that would develop the photographs into prints. So they put these films into liquids and voila! After some chemical reaction, the photographs appear nicely printed on paper. And the magical thing is that it can be used over and over again to produce more pictures. Anyway, so, so this uh, article talks about a young kid, uh, not very young, but a middle-aged kid, that kind of like um, was not happy that during the course of the printing of photographs, um, some of these uh, development companies, uh, developing companies will actually use the photographs and sell them to companies for advertisement or, or whatever reasons that they are, have. And that was certainly uh, an issue with the, the use of data, isn't it? I mean, imagine if the person who develops the photograph can use the picture and make some money out of it. Oh, my face! Oh, no, that's too much, right? So anyway, this particular youth was not really happy with uh, his personal data being uh, used for other purposes and made some noise, or rather raised the concerns in a more diplomatic way. And well, that, that, that led to a whole uh, 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 directions towards creation of privacy laws. And the laws that we know today will probably spawn from this effort from a youth. So do not underestimate the youth. So all you youth out there, uh, well, yes, make your views heard, Yet, let's do it tactfully and respectfully. So all the time, we need to remember that, you know, privacy is something that's very important. And this year, 2022, we look forward to a year of great uh, revolution in the privacy space. We've, we see many countries coming on with their privacy laws. Uh, we have seen uh, China passing their privacy law in November in 2021. And we see India mentioning about in Parliament in December 2021. And we probably see countries in Asia like Indonesia, Thailand, and even in Vietnam uh, looking at implementing some of these laws as well. So with that, um, my name is Mark Barnabas, uh, your data protection pal. And do read this article here, I mean here rather, <laughs> about Kodak and how a youth has made great waves in the formation of the privacy laws we know of today. So my name is Mark Barnabas, be good, be safe. And remember, if you want to learn more about cyber hygiene, feel free to connect with me and well, these are my links on social media. Feel free to connect with me. See you then. Be good and be safe. Take care and be good. Bye-bye.